Hi everyone, this is Jackson Milan, the Wealth Mentor, the co-founder and CEO of Aureus Financial. G'day, Sam Panetta, COO and co-founder of Aureus Financial. And we're here again for another episode of Ask Aureus Anything Live Q&A. Once you take out a home loan, is it better to put money into the offset account or to look at other investment opportunities? This is a great question, absolutely great question. So I guess it comes back to what your goals are. I guess to explain before I get stuck into it, an offset account is essentially a transaction account that's linked to your home loan that offsets the amount of interest that you pay on your mortgage. To give you an example, if you have a home loan of $500,000, you have an offset account that has 50 grand in it, then essentially at the end of the month, you'll only be charged interest on 450,000, which is your, your total amount of debt less the amount of cash that you've got in your offset account. So essentially, if you had uh, 50 grand in an offset account and your interest rate on your home loan was 4.5%, you're saving 4.5% on your money or your money's earning 4.5%. When you look at whether your spare cash should be sitting in an offset account or if it should be invested in other opportunities, you need to ask yourself what it is you're actually trying to achieve. So we advocate having always having a, a cash buffer in your bank accounts. Maybe it's 10 grand, maybe it's 20 grand. And from there, that's sort of the minimum requirement of the amount of cash you need to hold at all times. From there, you need to work out, are you saving towards a goal? So are you saving to, to buy a new car or to buy a home? Or what are you trying to do? So let's say, let's give it two scenarios, all right? Let's say that you're, you're saving to, to grow your wealth and you wanna buy another property. I'd probably be saving that cash in your offset account because it's a risk-free return of about 4.5%, which is pretty good. And it's no chance you're gonna lose money on it. The more money you stick in the cash, the more cash you stick in the bank account, the more money is gonna be there when you when you need the money for the deposit on for your home, for your next property. On the flip side, let's say that you aren't looking to accumulate any more property, you're not looking to accumulate uh, any you know, cars or any short-term saving needs then you could think about investing that money instead of putting it in your offset account, investing it in index funds as Jackson was just talking about and growing your wealth that way. Over time, index funds as Jackson mentioned, perform at about 10% per annum and they'll pay dividends and things like that as well. So over time, an index fund will outperform your offset account but it will do it with more volatility. So it'll go up and down, that's how share markets work. So if you didn't need that money for 10 years, I'd probably be sticking it in more aggressive assets such as, as index funds and shares. The other thing you ought to be mindful of, whether it's your home debt, meaning that it's a non-deductible debt, or whether it's an investment property debt. Mm. Because the other consideration is your tax. And I did a, a scenario of this in my book, um, which kind of paints a picture of what this actually looks like. And we need to consider an interest paid to the bank needs to be considered in the same light as an interest earned or a return that is earned. And we need to consider that when we make a return on our investment, we need to consider the tax. So let's say if we do make a 10% return and our average tax rate is 30%, we're actually only going to get 7%. Whereas if we are paying the bank 4% on our home, and that's money that we actually had to earn, pay tax on to then pay the bank in after-tax dollars, that's equivalent to around about a 7% gross amount that you had to earn in order to pay the tax to pay the bank. So you effectively need to measure that for any investment that you choose compared to putting money in the offset against your home that's non-deductible, needs to return in excess of 7% net in order to be a better investment for you. And in saying that, putting money in the offset is a, a gross 7% guaranteed return because it's essentially money that you're not having to pay to the bank the bank's always gonna come knocking for their interest, whereas the share market could tank tomorrow. So once again, it's about utilizing these tools and, and this education to reframe the way that you look at these strategic decisions in your life uh, and ensure that you're constantly trying to get the best possible outcome for the level of risk you're prepared to take. Comes back to having a strategy, correct. Yeah.